The identity of the man who went to the concert with Rosie is receiving the attention of the online community. After recovering from COVID-19, Rosie appeared at Incheon Airport and moved to Los Angeles, USA, to continue her personal schedule. Although it is not clear what schedule Blackpink's main vocalist went to the US with, but her every move is attracting special attention from the people. Recently, fans caught the Blackpink member coming to see Dua Lipa's concert in the US with an unknown man. Immediately, all attention was focused on the man who appeared with Rosie at the concert as well as people constantly learning about this guy's identity. The worldwide fan community of Blackpink quickly found out the terrible identity of the mysterious man who went to the concert with Rosie. That is Jeremy Ehrlich, director of music strategy of Spotify, the world's leading digital music service. In addition, he is also the former CFO of Interscope, the US record label of Universal Music Group. It is not clear what Rosie's next activity in the US will be, but with the meeting with Mr. Jeremy Ehrlich, fans are extremely looking forward to the next explosive projects of the main vocalist Blackpink. Today on March 28th, Rosie arrived safely in Korea to continue for working on Blackpink comeback together with all the members. On the other news, Big Bang is gearing up for their comeback with Still Life. On March 28th at midnight KST, the YG Entertainment Boy Group revealed the individual teaser poster of Daesung. The teaser image includes a Polaroid photo of Daesung with long curly hair. What do you think of this concept? Still Life marks Big Bang's first music release as a group in approximately four years. Stay tuned for the official drop on April 5th at midnight KST. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and recognize by YouTube algorithm to push my content. Thank you so much.